What is up everyone today on Family Hot Dish? I wanted to do a topic. And the topic is the Omnipod, the Dexcom. Let's just talk about them both. Talk about, I wanna hear from you too, what your experience has been. Let's get right into it. Now here's the thing, I'm grateful. I'm all about perception is stronger than reality. Perceive things in a positive light, it's gonna be positive. So I wanna start off with that, that like this isn't supposed to be, I've just been having a lot of concerns with the Dexcom, the Omnipod 5. And I wanted to talk about it. Remember, I'm not a doctor. This is just life experience of what's been going on for three weeks since we got the Omnipod and I wanted to discuss it. Because I wanted to hear if anyone can relate or if anyone knows the reasons why these things have been happening or anything of that nature. So let's get right into it. Here's the thing, okay. Obviously we wanted obviously we wanted him to get, you know, the omnipod because we didn't like giving him shots. He didn't like shots. Sometimes he wouldn't eat because of shots. Now he gets the omnipod. And Obviously, he loves it, and he says he does. He loves to not have to take physical shots, but he's having a lot of lows at night since he's had it. It's just, I'm not trying to bash it. I'm actually grateful, and I do love it, but it's like, I want to ask if other people have experienced this or anything, because when he was on the shots, the doctors are still saying his numbers look, his numbers look great, but here's the thing. Compared to what it was before for us with shots, it's crazy. We used to, like, it'd be rare to have a late night, you know, wake up. But now it's, like, a lot. We're actually shocked when we don't wake up. Uh, my wife saw that I was asleep on the couch out there, you know, and it was at about 3, and that's usually when his lows happen. So I don't know if I subconsciously woke up and went out there. That's what I mean. That's how, like, crazy it's gotten with lows, okay? And there's a lot more that I have to talk about. I got to get the baby out of there. What are you doing? I'm doing the... I'm talking about stuff. Daddy. Daddy. Now, here's the thing. I just don't... I'm not trying to have this video be like I'm being all negative. Because trust me, I'm grateful. Back in the day, I know they couldn't even tell. Back in the day, there wasn't even insulin. But So, like, don't get it twisted, but... I'm talking modern time right now. Now, with all these issues that have been happening, and it's it's weird though. Before that, we our Dexcoms with G6. Only, I think we only had to calibrate it one time, you know, with doing finger pricks and checking. But here's the thing: we didn't check as much back then if they were off. I swear, when we got the Omnipod, all of a sudden, all of a sudden we would do finger pricks, and he was low. It was off. I don't know, because my wife's saying that doesn't make sense. It's not like they're, like, I know they're connected or whatever for, through Bluetooth or, but like, I feel like there is a correlation. Now, and like I said before, like, it wasn't off, but uh, like, we didn't check a lot, but that was because doctors and people we saw online would just say, yep, it's always, you know, killing it. And, you know, barely ever have to recalibrate. So we just thought, it's really frustrating because two, since we got the Omnipod five, we've had so many um, wake up nights. Like I said, it seems to, it's blowing my freaking mind. Um, and I'm just, I'm looking for advice or help or if anyone can relate or, or, or it's actually really, it's really annoying. Because see, that's the thing. When we were just doing shots and stuff, it was we didn't really wake up much. Like here and there, but I can't remember. I think last night was a night. I think like maybe one, like since he got the Omnipod 5, this is serious, for about three weeks. I'd say there's been four nights out of 21 that we didn't have to wake up in the middle of the night. I'm not bitching, trust me. I, we both, I gladly wake up, I, you know? So it's not like I'm saying, oh, my sleep, you know, I don't give a shit. When he's having a low that, it, I'm just saying though, you know, I don't know. 
it's really weird. Um, I'm actually at a loss because I'm trying to. I don't know if with shots in the Lanta shot as well is that just is that just better because it keeps it flowing in them or you know I don't really know. I don't know. Like I say, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a parent giving advice and. The reason I wanted to make this video, it's not to be negative or not to, because trust me, I'm grateful for technology. But like, all I see are these videos that are like, it's the best, it's so amazing, it has no cords. It's like, well, I do like that. We want, he wanted it because he didn't want tubes, and I get that. And I'm, you know, so I'm not at all saying don't want it, but we've been debating, but we're going to talk to our, the doctor about going manual mode. Will that change anything? Um, I don't know. Does anyone know? Um, but I just wanted to put this content out there too because, it, you know, we were originally go with the T-Slim, but I'm not going to get too into that because I did do a T-Slim versus Omnipod topic or why we picked Omnipod. But, and you're locked in for five years. Like, that's how it works. If I remember right, it's five years. And that's the thing. Like, I feel horrible because I'm not trying to just bash this situation. Because trust me, I'm grateful. And today was the first day it was only like the Dexcom was 15, you know, 15 off, uh, you know. So, but I was wondering if anyone knows or like, is there a correlation? Because once we got the Omni or is it just the difference of not having Atlantis and doing shots? I don't even, it's really, it, it behooves me because the Omnipod 5 is supposed to be where you can dose. Like if you your kid eats eight carbs, you can dose exactly yeah. that. So I just don't even understand why it would, everything would go wrong after that. And trust me, like, and that's why it's hard too. Um, we do give him more finger pricks now. He's really good about those usually, but it's like, because, yeah, I think about just saying, oh, well, never mind, buddy, you're going to, back to shots. We do that. say that, though, if he gets weird about putting a new Dexcom on or putting an Omnipod 5 on. That's what we'll say. So trust me, we're grateful. <laughs> he fell down the slide. Oh, I didn't know he got hurt, though. I thought he just slipped. Um, hey, hey, hey. What's he? Oh, gosh. Um, it's just, it's hard. Because, like I said, I don't understand how it could ever be not doing as good as the older, you know, method, uh, for lack of a better term. You know what I mean? It's just like, shouldn't this be much better? Like, no contest type stuff? I'm at a loss. And here's the thing, too. Like I said, the doctors, at his last doctor appointment, you know, they still said, oh my gosh, his numbers look amazing, which we just... His numbers before, though, were way better. And I know that because I remember just nothing. There was really not any issues before that. Um, <laughs> let me get this thing. And, dude, I don't know. Because then, you know, as a parent, like, you always want to get better at being a parent, whatever. But I'm saying, I was, I kept thinking, what did, we, what are, are we doing anything? What Are we doing something wrong? Um, like, or, you know, I don't know. He gets to eat way more because he doesn't take shots, so he likes to eat more. So that's great. There's a lot of pluses, but I'll give you the example of what happened last night. So he got low, 44, arrow down. We're freaking out. We, he's never been that low. We're like freaking out. He wouldn't drink his juice box, which is rare, but of course, at that moment, he didn't want to drink his juice box. And we're like just freaking out. like. And then finally, we do a finger prick. The thing was like like 50 off. He wasn't even low. He was in great range. You know, and that's why, too, I finally was like, I got to make a video because I know people who have the T-Slim or one person. Um, and they do fine. But I'm not trying to do... I did do a, a video of, like, why we picked Omni 555. It's, li five, five, five. it's literally because it's tubeless. And he... He, he wanted tubeless, and that was really the main reason. And I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that are saying how good it is. And so I wanted to put a video out there that, you know, and maybe things will balance out. Maybe there's things that need to be dialed in. 
you know, as we keep learning or as it learns his body. Um, but as of right now, I just, I really hope it could, it, it could turn around, you know, but I guess we're going to have to see. It's all we can do. Take it one day at a time. And that's why I'm going to do more videos of, you know, updating on how the Omnipod 5 journey is going. Because we have it for five freaking years. And then if, and trust me, I'm grateful. Like I keep saying, I love this technology. I love that, you know, it's not like in the 19 whatever is where you didn't even know. Or like when they didn't even have insulin available to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... I just don't want people to think, oh my gosh, this guy is just, you know, be grateful. Because trust me, I do gratitude lists. You know, it's part of my recovery. And I'm not trying to be negative. It's just I'm trying to be real and post something that, you know, after five years, we were talking about we might go T-Slum. I mean, depending on how everything goes. And T-Slum, I think, is supposed to be coming out with something eventually that's tubeless. But... Thanks for letting me rant to you too. But the thing is, like I said, we've had far too many times since this three weeks, three and a half weeks, whatever it's been, where we're panicking. Oh my gosh, she's low. We got to fix it. We got to do this. We got to do it. But usually we don't act like that, you know, but I'm saying like, yeah. this is why I'm saying I'm frustrated. And then you check his freaking finger prick and he's not low. That's where I, we both are like, what is going on? And like, you know how my wife, and this, that's why I wanted to ask this. My wife's like, well, the Omnipod and the Dexcom, you know, they're not related. So it wouldn't make sense for, you know, the Dexcom to be off. Like, cause I keep thinking it's the Omnipod, but then she made a good point. But I, I still, I know that they connect through like Bluetooth, right? Or something. So could that be the issue that they just don't, aren't connecting good? The doctor did tell us that he could have it on opposite sides of his body because he's younger. Um, but then, uh, but then we're just thinking, do we have to put it on the same side now? Could that be how simple it is? You know what I mean? So that's it for this one. I'm going to stop because I know I'm just, I'm not. Like I said, I've said it over and over and I'll say it one more time. I'm grateful. I love technology. I love, you know, thank God my kid was born at this time frame. So, but I wanted to put this out there. And if anyone else is going through this or tell me too, if you're, if you're killing it, but me and my wife too noticed a lot of people are really, cause I listen to this podcast. Um, it's a really good podcast, but it's like, it seems like a lot of people don't take it that serious type type one and here's what i'm saying i'm not saying like that's bad or, i'm not anyone the way they want to operate with it or whatever it's just i noticed they're so like i'm in the 280s all the time and like they're in ketosis constantly and i'm just like so maybe other people or i sleep i'm low every night i've heard that a lot on podcasts that i listen to it's like what is like, but, or is that just normal? And we're just freaking out. But that's it for this one. I'm going to go. I just want people to be honest. So there are pros and cons. Trust me. I love that he eats more. That's probably the main thing that he eats more. And he likes it. But that's it for this one. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine with me. I'm um, just glad. Hopefully you got something from this. And I wasn't just... I'm not trying to complain. I'm just being real. And it's frustrations and it's sort of therapeutic to just get on here and talk about it. And maybe it will help somebody. So, and if you're making the decision with going with T-Slim or Omnipod 5 or anything, I'm not trying to even deter people from it because there are benefits, like I said. But that's it for this one. Everyone have a blessed one. Stay close to your family and be in the moment. I'm out.